Okay, now it's over to Mark, who's getting some help in the kitchen this morning to make a healthy chocolate cake and more. Yeah, that's right. I'm joined by Wick Nixon, and we're cooking out of a new book, and it's all about lunchbox, healthy lunchbox ideas, isn't it? It certainly is. Healthy lunchbox love. That's it. And so we've got two recipes today, so what are we going to cook? We're making a black bean chocolate cake full mm. of goodness, and we're making some creamery cheesy toast, which is just a really lovely, uh, different idea for uh, than sandwiches. Fantastic, that's a great idea, and we've uh, we've been trying different ways of cooking the creamery, haven't we? We so. have. Really great to have you with us in the cafe kitchen, and we've got a special guest with us today. Welcome, work. Welcome to the cafe. Thank you. It's very exciting to be here. I know. Well, look, I was just having a flick through this healthy lunchbox love, and it is incredible. There's some delicious recipes, and we're going to do a couple of them, right? Right now, aren't we? We certainly are. Well, we're going to put Mark to work. It's yeah. usually him putting me to work. <laughs> I know, yeah. Okay, so what are we going to do first? Explain this one to us. A black bean chocolate cake. How does that work? Well, it's got black beans in it, mm. and it's got um, eggs, and it hasn't got any flour in it. And it's just a beautiful, light and fluffy cake yeah. that has a really high nutritional value as well. Great, okay, because yeah. everyone loves cake and everyone likes good nutrition, so yes. combine the both of them and this is what yes. we've got. Yes. Okay, so Mark is busy putting some ingredients <laughs> together. What are you doing there? Right, so I've got the black beans in here and yep. the eggs, and then we are going to blend that together. Okay, nice. Hopefully. Once he sorts out his blender. There we go. Push the button, Mark. Push the button always helps. Oh, Jesus. Okay, how much do you have to blend it? Just until the black beans are fine. I love watching him do this. Is your base on properly? Yes. Thank goodness it's not me. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Try again. Try. Oh, no, what's happening? Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, this keeps going It's where you stand. Yeah. It is. It can't move. Okay, so what else are we adding into this? So we are adding in, next Mark's going to cream some coconut um, sugar yeah. and some coconut oil. Okay. Until it's light and fluffy. A lot of people don't realise that you can actually cream coconut oil yeah. exactly the same as butter. So it makes it, gives it a really good dairy-free option. Nice. And it, it, it does, when it's not, because obviously coconut oil goes quite runny in the summer, so it's when it is um, a, more, a little bit more textured. Right. So just cream that for a minute or so. It doesn't go as light and fluffy as what butter and sugar does, but just... <laughs> you seem to be having... <laughs> mixing that up. It's really hot in the kitchen, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> and the great thing about this recipe is I'm gathering that it's actually quite quick to prepare. It is. Is that what like you like? Got, well, the whole thing about my recipes in my lunchbox cookbook is that... I know, I'm a mother of three young children myself. I know how busy life is, and parents tend to you know, reach for the packaged foods, yes. and that's what I'm trying to avoid. Because right. I don't think parents realise the impact that it has on their kids' learning and on their concentration levels at school. So I want to show them quick and easy ways that they can create healthy, nutritious lunchbox options that are just a little bit different than, you know, you've seen a sandwich. Yeah, great, which makes the kids a bit more interested in it when they go to lunch, and, and all the other kids a bit jealous. So what? And it's made with love. And it's the, some of the recipes are so simple... Oh, I know. ..that the kids can even do it themselves. And they look delicious, too. I'm just having a flick through this book. It's just amazing. So we're going to go sweet, then we're going to go savoury in just a minute. OK, how's Mark going? How are you going there, mate? You got, your, you got your power tools yeah, sorted out? Quite busy, actually. <laughs> right, so we cream that. So th is that enough cream in, is it? That's perfect. Brilliant. Absolutely perfect. So it's, it's sort of nice and soft, got a right. texture to it. Mm -hmm. And we put the vanilla, put uh, the little vanilla bit of vanilla it. syrup in that. And do you want yep. this in here now? That goes in there. Right, so that goes in there. It's quite nice just standing back watching him work, isn't it, Work. <laughs> well, I was wondering this. how yeah. I was going to do the whole just multitasking. Wait tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and then you want to sift in the cacao powder and okay, the cool. baking powder. Okay, so, and so that in. most of like with all the recipes in my cookbook, I give gluten free, dairy free, and nut free options as well because there is yep. so many allergies out there. And you know, so, so what, what, what got you interested in the lunchbox option? Was it because you were a busy mum and you wanted a nutritional option for kids? Is that what got you started? I've always been really interested in healthy food, but when I had my children, I realised how much more important it was. Right. And to be fueling them with wholesome goodness from home, basically. And do you know, it is the biggest pain point of parents. 
healthy lunch boxes mm. is the bane of parents' lives. And this is my second cookbook, and people are just always interested in new, different ideas that they can do. And I, you know, I know that a lot of schools nowadays end up sending letters with parents saying, oh, you know, don't bring this food, don't bring that food, don't bring this food. So you've so covered those options that's as exactly well. That's exactly right. Yeah. And I w if I got it, yep, put them in. And if I got a message <laughs> in my kids' lunchbox with this black bean chocolate cake, I would love to go back and say, do you know what's in here? Nice. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Isn't isn't it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So it's all ready to go. We've so fast. This is good. Okay. Well done, Mark. I know. You make good. it look very easy. <laughs> <laughs> if I can do it, anyone well, can do it. Well, I was just going to so say no that, excuse. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pleased you've said that. And I guess, too, for variations, you could, you know, put different toppings on this. What topping so, are we going to do today? So we're just doing a pure uh, melted chocolate topping and some freeze-dried um, fresh eggs, raspberries. And you can put nuts into it. You can just do, you know, there's a lot, a lot of variation that you can do. Right. Great that it also freezes. Okay, cool. Because the key for parents is to have things that are in the freezer and in the baking tin, so then the kids can make their own lunch boxes. Okay, cool. And are we going to whack this in the oven, are we? How long we for? We are. 180 for 30 to 35 minutes, depending on the strength of the oven. Brilliant. And so how do you okay. Know when it's cooked, just skewer it. Skewer it so when the skewer comes out clean. Okay, Perfect. cool. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Holly, and look at that, our black bean chocolate cake done with love from the Healthy Lunchbox Love Cookbook. Looks incredible, Wick. You wait till you try oh, it. No, I can't wait to try it. In fact, it's going to be quite hard just sitting there the entire segment. Anyway, we'll save it for the end of the show. Um, we're going to do another recipe now. This is a little bit different, isn't it? I've never heard of this. Kumara toast. Kumara cheesy, cheesy toast, yes. It's a great alternative to sandwiches. Right. And all you do is slice up some kumara and cook it, and then you can put some toppings on the top. Okay, cool. And the great thing about kumara, it's got you know great nutritional values and leaves the skin on because it's you know you scrub it, but also it's a low glycemic, so it's going to stabilise the kids' blood sugar levels. So, Brilliant. You know, great for their concentration and energy on the sports field. Yes, yeah, that's right, which is good. And kumara, I mean, we all love kumara. This is something yeah. a little bit different you can yeah. do with it. So how thick are we making the slices when you? So this? About, gosh, Mark, you make that look so easy. Perfect. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that, is, that is perfect. <laughs> I might have to get these cuts them up for me. Um, okay, nice. About what? So, that's about a centimetre? So about a, about a centimetre. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay, cool. And then you can either cook them in a sandwich press yes. or you can cook them in the toaster. Okay. And just for two or three minutes. Okay, great. Oh, and oh, do you know oh. what? This is also really great for. Um, for your lunches as well. Yeah. So it's not only for kids, it's for adults going to work. They need a really quick and easy idea, put ricotta, put pesto, put uh, sun-dried tomatoes, put olives onto it. And I can use a bit of last night's leftover chicken as well, couldn't exactly. you? Do that, that sort of stuff. Exactly. Okay, oh, so this is what we've... Oh, so this is what we've, okay. we've cooked. So there's that kumara toast. Yeah, so so we've been cooking toast. these for about, what, about five, six minutes? Can yes. you just pa pa pass me a fork or something there, just so I can stir up? Thank you very much, my friend. Cheers. Good this work. is great, and you also said that you can put it in the toaster as well. Yes. Just like a piece of bread. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Bread. Another good trick. I'm going to try that. And exactly. uh, you, you grew up in the Hawke space. Obviously, you've been surrounded by great produce. When you're putting together a recipe book, are you conscious of, you know, what's available for families and, you know, what's affordable? Is that part of the, the writing of a recipe book as well? Yes, it is. Um, my cookbook is, all the ingredients are, you know, from the supermarket. You don't have to go to any weird and wonderful, right. you know, different right. stores. Because, again, it, we're time poor, so it's all about really quick and easy ideas. Healthy eating made easy is my motto. Nice. Oh, we, we love need. that. <laughs> Excellent. OK, so what, so what stage just, are we up to now? We've just put some grated cheese on the top. We're going to put yep. the bacon on the top, and then you put them under the grill. And... So you That's put them it. back in the press? I, I'd normally grill them in the oven. You could put them oh, under cool. the press. Cool. No, but then you'll flatten them all out. I want to, yeah, then we'll grill them back in the oven, shall we? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. And <laughs> then if you're putting them into kids' lunchboxes, just let them cool. Yes, OK, before, cool. Before they, they head off. So you can make this the night before? Yeah. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Okay, My cool. daughter went off with them the other day for... which I'd made the day before. Actually awesome. practising for this. Oh, Can't nice. wait till Gracie oh. goes to school. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook some awesome stuff for it to take to the Well, today. no, but that's the thing. Your kids must be so lucky. Eggs. <laughs> you know, eggs. You know, sometimes they just go, Mum, can you just give me some sugar? <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, you are gonna put them in the grill. Okay, we'll see what happens when you do this. Yeah, yeah I'm not, oh, I'm look, not gonna squash them again. Leftover bacon for me as well. What's this? Um, fantastic. 
Okay, nice. So, this book here. Okay, yeah, you do it. Are you going to do it? I'm just going to hold it. Oh, are you going to hold it? Oh, you're not going to yeah. squash them, I see. It's like an oven. So the recipes that we have done are available in this book here. And if you want to get hold of this book, what can you do? Just head to my website, wickedwellbeing.com. Okay, you heard it here, wickedwellbeing.com. We've also got the recipes, two recipes, lucky for you, at thecafe.co.nz. Oh. oh, there you go. Oh. What Fantastic. a star. He sussed it with using the grill. See? Made it so easy. <laughs> nice work. Oh, yum. <laughs> OK, thank you so much. We're going to have a fantastic lunch here. I'll get you to bring that over towards the end of the show, Work. Thanks for coming here. Look forward awesome to it. work. And right now, let's find out what Holly's up to. Right now, though, it is chocolate cake time and Coomera toasty time. Mark and Wick, how's everything turned out there? It's pretty good. Look oh, at this. Nice. Just going to portion some up so you can try some. Portion them up. Yeah, that, that's a nice slice, little, yeah, Mike. Thank you. I was going to say, do I get the big one? Well, we'll bring it over and get stuck in. Nice work. Oh, look. Lunch for everyone. Emma, Wick. That looks fantastic. Juicy, get in there.